Hey guys, Robert Game Gamebat today, bringing you another video for our weapon blueprint series, and today we're we'll covering the Russian FSB bundle, the Russian Federal Security Bureau bundle. So this is finally available here in shop for 1,200 COD points after being delayed for multiple seasons. I believe was, this was supposed to be out in season four, and here we get it at the very end, the last day of season six here, and fitted what actually released it late at night for season six, um, the last day after it had already expired. So. In this bundle, you can see here on screen, we get the Russian FSB Milsim skin, which is modeled after a real-life Sober unit. We'll go ahead and go into some more details about that in the video here. We also get the Timhoda AK-47 blueprint. So this adds some nice, unique attachments, at least one unique attachment to this weapon, which we'll go into here as well. It gives us that AK-12 type buttstock that we can see on the M4. We also get the Close Encounters calling card, the Deadly Blades emblem, and the Hardline spray for this. So if we go ahead now, and we'll go ahead and back out and look at the bundle itself here. Here's the weapon blueprint for the Tim Hoda AK-47 blueprint. And you can see there, really pretty nice looking blueprint. We get that unique buttstock that you're used to seeing on the M4. And again, it's modeled, mainly supposed to mimic an AK-12 buttstock for this weapon. So let's go to back out. First, we're going to actually go to the operator for this particular FSB bundle. So if we go ahead and look at the operator, this is actually going to be a Milsim skin for the base operator, the Allegiance. So you'll see here I'm in a custom game. Um, so we still have the actual coalition Allegiance operators, but here you're, for your Allegiance Milsim operator, go ahead and look and you're gonna get the Russian FSB. Now this is, again, as I said, modeled after in real life, this the Special Rapid Response Unit or SOBER. Basically, this is a compromise of Spetsnaz Unit and Russian Interior Ministry. Russian SOBER units uh, are staffed by senior Reagan police. Think of, think of it as the equivalent of the SWAT, like I said previously. So basically the SWAT, but for Russian police, mainly they, these guys were organized in the early 90s after the collapse of the Soviet Union to deal with organized crime or the Russian mafia. They also take place in, or take part in uh, anti-terror raids as well and operations with, Russia, with actual FSB and other Spetsnaz units. So here we go. This is modeled after the Soviet units or special rapid response. You can see there, um, you have some unique, we have some unique attachments here. This is actually a model I'll show here on screen now. We have the the different, there's a toy for this that's made after Toy Haven. So they make very, very realistic Milsim type action figures or models, I should say, that mimic real life. And I believe this is what Infinity Ward modeled after. It's almost a one-to-one -one, and I will point out some of the differences here. So for this particular uh, operator itself or FSB again, modeled after a sober unit, you get the unique uh, Fort Reddit 5T body armor. We have an SRVV modular V2 vest. We also have the Alton helmet, which is nice to see. Finally, we did see the, the Mosca 1 added to game with one of Bale's operator skins here the other day, and we finally get an Alton here. Unfortunately, you can't put the visor on. I think it would look almost even better with the visor down, but I understand why it's not. If you're going to be ADS and it's a little easier with the visor up, as you can see on the action figure that I would have shown on screen here as well. Um, so if we look at, if I go ahead now and back out and we'll zoom into the operator himself, I have a, a nice tactical looking AK build here, but you can see the Fort Reddit 5T body armor, the modular V2 vest. He's got what look like gate cutters or lock cutters on his back there, those yellow player looking things there. So again, those are basically giant clippers made to cut through fence or locks. And then when he's got the, you can see the, the AK-74 magazines on his chest pouch. He's got a radio there. Also has a med bag on him as well as a radio pouch. And you can see the pistol holster on his right hand side. And he's got knee nice knee pads. He comes with uh, different, a nice unique, basically a whole variety of tactical things. He's got his radio pouch. Everything you could really ask for with a sober unit here. So again, modeled after you see the Russian flag there on his front. And the, we have the nice Alton. The body armor itself, again, very nice looking, very unique. And you see, I'll show on screen again the action figure. Modeled really one-to-one. -one. It looks very, very similar, if not 100% the same. You can tell they absolutely modeled it after. Even down to the camouflage is going to be the exact same for this one as well. So let's go back out. We'll focus on the actual weapon itself for this. And I'll, I'll actually compare it to with the model that was used with this toy, or the action figure itself. And we'll go over some of the downsides of the blueprint here. So... We go ahead and jump and I'll strip this down to base. So the Team Hoda blueprint is going to come. We're going to skip out on the muzzle. It does not come with a muzzle. We're going to go with the barrel. This is going to be a Spetsnaz Elite barrel. This is going to give us pros being damage at range and bullet velocity. The cons are going to be the ADS speed for this weapon. 
or this attachment I should say, and now you can see the differences for the default, the steel curtain, the dust gripper, and the Tempota. So we get a nice cosmetic or I guess camouflage color change there. Now we're gonna skip out on the laser. For the optic, we're gonna go with the Combat Corp Holographic Start or the EOTech as it's known in real life. So this is gonna give us a precision sight picture at a one and a half times zoom magnification. The cons here are just gonna be the ADS speed. Uh, I believe it's about one frame there, so it's not gonna slow you down too much. So we'll go ahead and you can see the base versus the Tempota blueprint. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the stock, of this is really the only unique attachment, I guess, with this particular one. We're gonna go with the FSS close quarter stock. So this is gonna give us the bump to, or the pro to ADS speed, the con being aiming stability. And you can see the differences here uh, with the different, we have the base butt stock for this one. We have the steel curtain, which is really a unique one. And then we have different variations there of the same one for the base. And then Tim Hoda, again, gives us really what it's trying to do is mimic an AK-12 buttstock. So I think they, they essentially just took the same buttstock from the M4 that came originally with the F4 for this attachment and put it on this. Um, and it looks pretty nice. It, it fits well. Again, they're trying to mimic an AK-12 buttstock here, I believe. So we'll go ahead and select that. We're going to skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip. And for the ammunition, we get a nice, unique 40 round magazine here. So the pros are going to be the magazine ammo capacity. So we're going to go from 30 rounds of the 7.62 by 39 millimeter to 40 rounds of the 7.62 by 39. The cons are going to be the ADS speed again and the movement speed. So keep in mind, with all these attachments, you're really going to be slowing down uh, your ADS speed pretty heavily. Now, if we look at the default versus steel curtain, we have a dust gripper, the Resonant, and then the Timhota magazine here. So it's a nice looking magazine. I think it fits well with this weapon. And those are all the attachments for this. So I am going to add one more unique attachment. Again, this is just more so personal preference. I'm going to go ahead and put a Merc foregrip on. I think the Merc or the Ranger are going to be your best options for controlling the recoil with the 7.62 by 39. Now the pros here are going to be the recoil control and the hip fire accuracy, which we're not really looking to hip fire with this, but we're using it mainly for the recoil control for the vertical recoil muzzle climb here of the AK. The cons being the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that's our final design here for the Tim Hoda blueprint for the AK-47. Really, I guess it's meant to mimic uh, a more modernized AK. Um, and right now, I'll show on screen the AK that comes with this action figure. And you can see we actually have a AK-74 that came with this action figure. And I really think that I really would have preferred if they modeled it after that. You can see the one that I'm showing here on screen that comes with the AK-74 with, for this action figure, as I said. As a full length, uh, full full length barrel rail handguard there for the Zeneco handguard. So again, it's full barrel length, covers up the gas block there as well. Zeneco handguard, Zeneco RK1 foregrip. Hey, we have a nice unique Russian optic. I believe it even has a Picatinny rail dust cover, which is very nice. Unique buttstock, pistol grip, etc. So, and they also have the RK1 charging handle from Zeneco as well. So you can see obviously the differences with this versus the base. For this weapon um, a little bit disappointing i guess maybe a missed opportunity that they didn't cover that but let's go ahead now and we'll back out we'll get more into that after we look at some nice unique loadouts you can make with the tim hoda blueprint jump in here and we're using this tim hoda blueprint at base we have a nice unique custom one that i really like to that i've been using previously in the past i'm going to start using this more in multiplayer and warzone here um is a unique basically an ak-103 i guess we would call this AK-103M, so we're using a tactical suppressor, the Spetsnaz Elite, the Aimpoint Optic there. We're using the FSS Close Quarter Stock that's unique for the Demoto Blueprint. I'm using the base 30 round magazine so I can utilize all five attachments here with the underbarrel being the Merc foregrip. And I think that's a really nice tactical looking blueprint. I'll show off how that fires in game when we get into recoil patterns. And then if we go down to some other ones here, we just have a different AK-74M AK style that I made using the Warsaw Blueprint, and we're using, the again, the unique buttstock for the Tempota Blueprint on this one. It's really the only one that's retained from the Tempota Blueprint. So again, that's a pretty nice one. We're using the 545 by 39 millimeter rounds there as well. Now, if we go ahead and look at the, AK, this is really just a different AK-74M type build that I did. So if I go ahead and we'll put this on, basically what I try to do with this is mimic the the build that came with the Toy Haven MVD Sober Link's action figure here or model and you can see here this is mainly meant to you'll see the, the see the similarities here I'll show on screen now the one that comes with the action figure again it's an AK-74M with Zeneco full-length rail handguard um, we have the RK-1 charging handle or in the RK-0 underbarrel attachment we have some nice tack lasers uh, unique butt stocks etc and the optics so if we go back 
look at that that comes with the action figure and then we look at this particular design here very very similar trying to mimic it as much as possible however obviously there's some glaring differences but I think it would have been nice if they had actually modeled it after this particular AK-74 is there. And if we go back and look at the different camouflage, you can see the camouflage is cover all of the weapon minus the handguard and the pistol grip there. So you can see how that looks with this. Some attachments, I think it looks really good. Others, it looks a little odd. So it really just depends on what camouflage you're picking there. And then just some other things here for like a rear grip. You can see how that changes the weapon itself or for the, the pistol grip there. It just adds that grip tape not really affecting the uh the greenish pistol grip that comes with the weapon as well but that's the timhoto blueprint let's go ahead now and we will one more thing really quick is we'll preview we'll preview our operator walking here at the main screen i think this is really really cool so let me actually let me we want to select this one where is it let's go ahead and rebuild this quickly so i had a nice build here for the timhoto blueprint that was my tactical build so we'll go ahead and do the tactical suppressor We'll do the Spetsnaz Elite. We'll do our Aimpoint Optic. We'll do our new unique buttstock. And then we'll throw on that Merc foregrip there. And then we'll go ahead and check out our operator here, our sober operator running with this nice modernized AK build. You can see how nice and tactical that AK looks. Very nice and appealing. Now, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the gameplay for this. And again, the Timhoto Blueprint. So this is more, let's focus more on the weapon here quickly. This weapon was delayed, again, the Blueprint itself or the overall bundle delayed from season four mainly because you'll notice uh if you remember it had some different calling cards in, on there as well which were i think not really a good look for there was some conflict in russia going on as far as uh that this was not being released because of some of the emblems that were included and they had the fsb riot shield so i think there was some back and forth there and this was that's really why it was delayed some controversy going on there so they removed some of the emblems they removed the they removed the riot shield as well, and that's now available as a challenge, not part of the bundle. So I think that brought the overall price of this bundle down. Again, this was a Milsom operator bundle that was designated originally for the very mid or end of season four, and it was delayed through season five and all the way through season six here to the very end. So I think one thing to notice, first off, if we look at the actual operator, um, like I said, based off of real life sober units, so these guys were formed in actually i believe it was 1992 and they've been around ever since uh up to modern day they still operate in some areas of russia as well and again like i said they were mainly put together to deal with organized crime aka the russian mafia at the at the end or the collapse of the soviet union there which ended the cold war and they transitioned into russia so the, obviously crime uh, organized crime specifically was a big problem anti-terror etc so that's what sober units were created for to deal with combat against organized crime with additional roles including anti-terrorism um they also fought during fought, fought during the wars in chechnya and dagestan so keep that in mind these guys do have essentially military type training and military experience um ex-military i'm sure work with the sober units as well and um the equivalent of the swap for the most part now if we look at the ak for this particular bundle the tiamat timpota blueprint i'm not going to say it's disappointing but it's a bit of a letdown now really quick if i if i flash the ak 74m that comes with the haven toys action figure here on screen again these are really made to be one-to-one -one replicas of real life so called essentially think of this as just a milsim action figure for the most part or model um the AK there, the Infinity War must have modeled after this particular action figure for this bundle. And I know they were given uh, modernized AK builds to model after for this game. And that was really a huge emphasis in the beginning of this build up to this game was modernized weapons. Uh, they were scanning everything with the photogrammetry to make everything real. And here they have a nice AK-74M that they must have looked at. They must have seen this. I'm not sure why we don't have this type of AK in game. It would be so much more appealing and better to look at um i think the blueprint itself that we get with the timhoda is nice however it's it's a bit of a letdown i'm not going to say it's lazy developing or designed by infinity ward i just think it's a missed opportunity they obviously work really hard and i'm sure they're very very busy and at this time i'm pretty sure they're busy developing and getting modern warfare 2 ready which is apparently rumored to be the next cod title for 2021 now, if that is true, I'm pretty sure we can expect to see a more modernized AK design, whether it's a 74M with a lot of heavy, heavy Zeneco 
attachments or even an AK-12, AK-15 would be really nice to see, but definitely a missed opportunity. Um, if they had the photogrammetry, it's all right there for them to scan. It would have just been perfect to have a full length uh, railed Zeneco handguard and put in the appropriate rail dust cover. They have all these attachments, even the RK-1 charging handle from Zeneco. They have all these attachments on the Bison and the Dragonoff and even the PKM, they have a Zeneco PKM with the standard issue. So they have a lot of these, like the RK-1 charging handle is in game, it's on the Bison and the Dragonoff. Um, they've added rail dust covers to the Bison and the Dragonoff. The only thing that they don't have in game of the asset would be essentially the RK-0 foregrip as well from Zeneco as well as the Zeneco full length rail pattern guard. Those are the only real things I, that they don't have in game yet, but if they have the phonogrammetry, that's easy to make. And again, you have like a, the nice Russian AK-74M style compensator, flash suppressor, even muzzle brakes that could have been added as well. So I think definitely think it's a missed opportunity. I would have really enjoyed seeing these more modernized variants of the AK. Um, it's just a little hard to look at this AK because I think it has so much potential and just definitely a little bit of level letdown. If you look at any FSB unit, any Russian police unit, they're all using Zeneco attachments on their AKs. Um, really, there's no there's no base 74 series being used that doesn't have Zeneco, heavily modified Zeneco attachments. Same with the M4s today. You don't see any M4s with carrying handles and no attachments, really. You see all salt mod, heavily modified M4s, which is the same as the Russians. So I really wish they, they had done this. I definitely think it's a little bit of a letdown for me because I'm somebody that really has wanted to see a modernized AK build in the game. And this, although it looks good and you can make it look pretty good, you still don't have a 90 degree gas block and there's definitely some, a lot of things missing that we see in any AK developed after um, the AKM series being 74 and forward where they, where they gave us that 90 degree gas block and a bunch of other improvements over the AK-47 and 74, or excuse me, AK-47 and AKMs. So definitely a bit of a letdown, but hopefully I'm pretty sure we can look forward to actually seeing this in Modern Warfare 2 at this point. I'm sure it's developed. Um, whether they plan on releasing it, something similar to that here in Modern Warfare in the future with some of these additional updates or holding it over for Modern Warfare 2. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know down below what you guys think of this. Again, this is the FSB bundle here for the Russian Federal Bureau of Security Services. For the Russian Federal Security Services modeled after the Sober units. Let me know down below what you guys think. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the content. Stay tuned for more Modern Warfare content as we get some sort of Season 7 title releasing here in the future, with here in early December, alongside all the Cold War weapons, which will be integrated into Modern Warfare. So let me know down below what you guys think of this, what you want to see going forward, and are you happy with this AK blueprint, or did you expect more similar to me? Let me know down below. Until next time, this is Buffner Gaming, out.